There's a lot of excuses getting made for Israel Adesanya's performance against Sean Strickland. So many people are saying that he just wasn't the same, he wasn't himself, he looked slow and weird out there. It's not the Adesanya we know that fought Sean Strickland in there. And that is taking so much away from Strickland's performance. And some of it is true, but it's because of Sean Strickland. Perhaps Adesanya didn't feel himself coming out there. That's entirely possible as it happens to a lot of fighters. But it didn't look like that in the fight itself. Adesanya looked like himself to me. It's just everything he tried didn't work. And he got dropped in the first round and maybe never recovered from it. It looked like Adesanya's game plan was to throw a lot of kicks at Sean Strickland. Knowing that Strickland defends his head very well. Leg kicks and question mark kicks seem to be Adesanya's main game plan. And actually... The leg kicks were landing, some of them, but I don't think he expected Strickland to check as many as he did. And we heard some people say that, you know, Adesanya didn't bring his creativity out there. He didn't show any flash and flair and stuff like that. He didn't bring his music that he usually plays with. When this is simply not true. In fact, Adesanya was more creative and flashy in this fight than some of his other title defenses. He was more flashy in this one than he was against Yoel Romero, than he was against Marvin Vittori the second time, than he was against Paulo Costa, than he was against even Pereira in the second fight. This guy was throwing out so many question mark kicks. This guy was turning his back to Strickland, getting into a groove. I mean, the amount of question mark kicks that he threw was more than he's ever thrown in any other UFC fight. And if you want to look at the body language, when he was walking out for his entrance, the guy looked as confident as could be. In fact, it looked like Strickland may have been off. Strickland's body language did not look as good as Izzy's coming out there. What really happened was that he could not hit Strickland to the head that well. He tried a lot of different things and barely any of them were penetrating as Strickland's defense was on point. And if you really think about it, how does Adesanya catch his opponents with his punches? It's usually countering, right? It's usually a hook while he's moving away. This is how he knocked up Robert Whitaker, right? He moved away from Whitaker's blitz and caught him with the same hook. It's the same left hook that Sean Strickland beat with a straight right. Straight beating looping. It's crazy how so many people are missing that. Or what about the same hook he threw at Paulo Costa to knock him out? It's the same left hook he set it up with, but Strickland beat it, right? Paulo Costa got knocked out by that punch, but Strickland beat that because he saw it coming. Or what about the same hook he hit Alex Pereira with? And look what happened when he tried to do that against Sean Strickland. And like I already mentioned, and it didn't just happen one time, Strickland countered that counter left hook more than once in that fight. There was another time where he landed the 1-2 on him when Adesanya was looking for the counter left. The fact that that punch got beat in the first round against Strickland and Adesanya got dropped may have thrown him off the entire fight after. But it's because of what Strickland did and not only that... Strickland's pressure was unlike anybody else that Adesanya has fought before. Adesanya was moving back along the cage more in this fight than he's ever done before. And he looked extremely uncomfortable against a guy who was not extending himself. Against a guy who was not giving him openings to counterattack. This guy was walking him down behind a Philly shell, throwing jabs. It's very hard to fight a guy like that as a counter striker without having good takedowns. And that was a detriment to Adesanya's game. And here's the other thing, while Adesanya is moving back, his kicks also get negated too. So he has to punch. When you're moving away from somebody, you need range for kicks. But if you're backed all the way to the fence, there's no more range to create. So now you gotta punch with this guy and knowing how good Strickland's boxing defense is, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna make you look slow. It's gonna make you look off because you're not landing the same punches you usually land. And Adesanya's jabs were not slow at all. Look at his jabs in this fight compared to the other fights. They were the same speed, same kind of extension, same speed. He actually wasn't even flaring his jab out that much, which is a bit better than what he's done in the other fights. And Adesanya was constantly getting disrupted by the front kicks and with the faint high knees. Every time Strickland did that, it backed Adesanya up, where Adesanya was looking to plant and throw something out there. To say that Adesanya just looked off himself and that's why he lost is crazy in my opinion because the reality of the fight was that Strickland was the better guy. Strickland did the better things out there. Strickland caused Adesanya to look like that. I think people just can't accept or fathom that Strickland beat Adesanya so something else must have happened to make Adesanya lose when the reality is the better man won. Adesanya to me did not look off. He did not look slow to me at all. He tried all the same stuff he did in other fights. It just didn't work against Strickland. Strickland was well trained for this fight. He was well prepared. And it turns out he has a very good style up against Adesanya's more patient, patient counter sniping kind of style. A guy who gives the least amount of openings, stays behind his defense, and throws out small attacks waiting for the sniper to expose himself first. Strickland is actually a very difficult fight for Adesanya. 